Hello guys, it's me, that guy. I was recently made aware of a Facebook group called Yoda Baby AB, which if you're just clicking on this video, you're probably weren't expecting to hear that collection of words. It was my friend Average Harry who showed me this Facebook group. We recorded a video together on this and he's just not uploaded it. So I'm stealing it. Essentially what it is, it's this Facebook account with over 100,000 followers that just posts fake news. But because it's Facebook, people just believe them. So you'll get a few posts every now and then that get like 100 likes, no traction. But then every now and then, 15,000 likes. And just a, the most AI movie poster you could imagine. And even though in their introduction, it says that it's satirical, 100% satire and fake news. And then if you go to their banner, it's just fake news. <laughs> People will still comment on these posts tagging their friends. Beverly Moody, you gotta see this. Beverly, come on. You're gonna lose your mind. It should be played by Evan Peters. It's not being played by anyone. No one is remaking this film. My birthday is in September. Christ, genius. That makes a 12th of the population. Am I liberally bullying these people too much? Nah. <laughs> Have you heard about this? No, Bryony Janine probably has never heard about this, given the fact that it is simply untrue. And these poor guys, they aren't the only people that fell for it. 6,000 people <laughs> fell for this. <laughs> E.T. The return to Earth. God, where's E.T. been? He looks like he's just been shoved down a toilet for the last decade. He's come back looking like a raisin. Summer 2025, okay. I would love to see it. Can't wait. Whose grandma is this? I can't wait for you to show this to Layton. If this Layton is your child, I, I'm pretty sure the child's gonna realize this is AI well before you. This feels like a new form of power that we've just harnessed over the older generation. Can we just feed them AI content now and keep all of the real content to ourselves? I would really love it if they put the release date on these posters so that people actually walked to the cinema on the day that they thought this was coming out. The Blues Brothers, James Franco, Seth Rogen. This, this AI picture of James Franco, it doesn't even look like James Franco. Why is his hat so big? It's like the Blues Brothers, but Ratatouille maybe? I think Hollywood is running out of good stories to make into movies. Now we are stuck watching bad remakes of good movies. No, don't worry, you won't be stuck watching this one, uh, Lan. <laughs> Tom Cruise is Iron Man. Well, it looks like he's just been cut out from another movie poster. Prepare to experience the reboot of the MCU with Iron Man, starring Tom Cruise as the iconic Tony Stark. No effing way will he ever be Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. forever will be Iron Man. Who is this Robert Downey Jr. forever guy? I've never heard of him. No, just no. Love Robert Downey Jr. This is the one that pushed it a little bit too far over the line, clearly. The fact that we may be the only people to ever see these comments. It just makes me question why comment in the first place. Not that you should apply that to yourselves. You should be commenting on this video, please. Oh, Jesse, I'm definitely gonna take our kids. <laughs> Born yesterday. I feel like there must be some people that get off of following this page on Facebook and reply to as many people as possible clowning on them. <laughs> Ratta. Tui. I feel like Pixar need to make this film now. That is simply too good. I also think it is funny. I think this is a funny thing to do to people. Because there must have been so many conversations that people have with their families where they go, oh, did you hear that this film's coming out? And there's just nothing online about it. They must sound insane. Honestly, in terms of the rat tier list, Ratatouille would probably be close to number one. If this video gets 25,000 likes, I'll do a rat tier list. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's fake. I really hope someone replies like in tears. I really wanted to see Ratatouille. Chewy. Ratatouille 3. Meatballs. Dive into a hilarious summer adventure with meatballs. So like, this is what people shout at you when you enter into Ikea. Saint Olaf, the Betty White story. Oh, it's on Netflix, this one. That's that's crazy. We should have a watch party. <laughs> wow, yes. That That's a sad one. If you're one of the only people here to fall for it, that is quite, you know, that's a rough one to take. Especially because Jason is, is coming and telling everyone that it's fake. Jim Carrey, The Shining. This one doesn't even look believable. Believable. I say that none of them none of them do <laughs> Walter White returns in Heisenberg this this looks like it's gonna be action-packed when an ambulance delivers Walter White to a fate Seemingly sealed by cuffs and concrete his most daring escape begins Can he escape prison and cancer now more powerful and merciless than ever? <laughs> he's not really is he was he's not he's not looking very dangerous in that picture guys This one's coming out in four months as well. Should we all go see it? I think we should all go see it. Um 
Didn't he die at the end? Well, Jeff, if you read the description, it will tell you that an ambulance got him to the hospital and he's alive. I went to a private screening of this back in early February. It delivers, trust me, God. People like this suck. Just dunking on them again. Tell me it's April Fool's without telling me it's April Fool's. Patrick, look at the calendar, brother. You replied this on the 28th of March. Oh my god, it's even hit the French. I wish this was serious. French people in the comments, tell me if this is true. None of, none of you are French. If you were, you would have come to my show in Paris. Actually, you know what? Speaking of my music, I'm trying a thing. You, I'm trying a thing. I'm making people go and listen to my music. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds like you wouldn't want to do that. I want to see how many people will go and listen to Romanticize This today. So go and listen to Romanticize This. Disney Pixar Rugrats in association with Nickelodeon. They look gross. What's going on with this? It doesn't look heartwarming. It looks like that creepy form of clay animation. June if it was set on a water world. This editing for Zendaya looks horrendous. <laughs> Why does it struggle so bad with Zendaya, dude? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, this one looks so fake. People can't have fallen for it. She's a great actress. However, leave the classics alone. When there are more new creative shows, stop piggybacking off of the classics. Third try. And if it fails, we'll hear racism instead of why. You better be lying. I mean, they are. This is not real. It's a rumor and the poster is fake. But if it was real... <laughs> this person definitely just didn't want to hedge their bets too much. I would give it a chance, but these reboots are usually not on the level of the original at all. I don't know. I feel like Zendaya, I trust enough to be in this film. This film isn't real. Why am I commenting on this? <laughs> okay, no one's falling for Private Benjamin. <laughs> He looks like he's he's about to die hard. This holiday season, experience the heart-stopping action in Die Hard. Again, does this one just doesn't look believable at all. Is this you can see the, the building kind of clipping into the sky there. Leave it alone. But if you need someone, Scott Eastwood would be way better. Okay, guys, who is this man? I've ne I've never seen this man in my life. Done fuck up a classic. One, you've not seen the film yet, so you can't tell if they would have messed it up. I'm sorry, sorry, you can't see the film anyway. Two. I feel like this would go pretty hard. Am I wrong? Gee, I didn't even know what that says. Star Wars the axolotl? I don't... People believed it? Colin Farrell, the penguin. <laughs> These people are more visible in the back. This poster is just bad. Dude, you can't do this to Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage leprechaun prepare for a thrilling adventure with peter dinklage in this utterly mad remake of leprechaun florence pew yeah florence pew would be in the leprechaun film huh always give films a chance so i'll watch it you won't no oh you're a fan of this page oh my god you give them money Okay, no, they just interact a lot. Noel, Noel be falling for this so much, he's got a badge. One of my fav actors. That he, and good for you, because you can go and see him in plenty of other films that aren't Leprechaun. Just in time for my birthday. Ah, what a shame, Constance. What is this film meant to be? Hot Shots Topper? Sounds like your mum. Because she give a topper to this hot shot. The Land Before Time. Join Littlefoot and his beloved friends on an exhilarating journey back in time in this heartwarming remake of The Land Before Time. What was this film? Film. Oh, 1988. That is quite a while. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4. Return to the she streets. I'm sorry. I don't have a thing for Ninja Turtles. Return to the sheets. Well, there you go. That's the porn parody that you're waiting for. Love the idea. Another top fan. Anthony Zimmer. I am so sorry. You are falling for it. You guys are going to be bummed. That could be the, the caption for Return to the Sheets. All right. This one is actually real. No. June Part 3. Is it going to be called that? Yeah. June Part 3 is confirmed already. This is probably the only real one we've seen today. It's not true this page makes ai posters ha get double tricked it is true i wouldn't know what to believe if i've been telling everyone this is a fake page and then all of a sudden all of the films are real okay now there's gonna be some johnny depp chat Sixty thousand likes on johnny depp pirates of the caribbean jack's revenge oh my god oh i can't wait jack is back <laughs> great title god that's such a icky thing. Jack's Revenge. God, this one got over 300,000 likes. It's uh, a Coco Part 2. I've not actually seen Coco 1. Un Dia de los Locos. The fact that this has 300,000 likes means it must be a pretty loved film. But also, like, if you like animation, surely you could look at this and go, this doesn't look right. None of this looks right. If you zoom in on anything in the background, the faces are just so weirdly warped. Me when I, me when, me when I see, me, me. <laughs> Me when I see my haters. Look who's talking again. 24,000 likes. What's this about? Hey, it's Fred. Yeah, this doesn't look anything like the original. Uh, Fred the movie is a, a banger, quite frankly. Is that Jack Manifold? No, that's Harry Styles. It says it's John Cena and Jason Momoa. Eh. <laughs> 
the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. Tom Holland stars as Andy Dufresne, a banker instead by fate. Yeah, we, we know the story. It's not being remade though, is it? With Tom Holland. Don't ruin this classic picture. That's what people say to me when I try and get into the photo. Mary Poppin. So it's Mary Poppins, but bad. Like she's, she bad. Cloudy with a chance of mithreat balls. That you could do better than that. Cloudy with a chance of meat ball. Mm, no, it's it's the third one. Clearly, I'm not the marketing genius. I thought I was. Big granddaddy. Hey guys, that's gonna be my new channel name. Obviously, I'm still doing so much live content, as you can see. But I think Big Granddaddy should be my new channel name. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And subscribe. I want. I'm gonna make more videos. Bye.